Welcome back. Another person this morning has possibly been cured of HIV. Doctors say a transplant using stem cells from umbilical cord blood was successful. New Zealand Health and Science correspondent Lindsay Thies with details. This case is the first to use umbilical cord blood cells and the first to treat a woman and someone who's identifying themselves as mixed race. The use of cord blood cells makes it easier for a rare group of HIV resistant donors to match more people. This is a microscopic image of a human T-cell under attack by HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Doctors and scientists say they have cured a woman's HIV with a stem cell transplant. In her, the virus has remained undetectable now for 14 months. That's extremely encouraging. Dr. Kuhn von Bison is the director of the stem cell transplant program at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York. He tells Newsy the patient, a mixed race woman, had both acute leukemia and HIV. Four years ago, she had stem cell transplant from umbilical cord blood and bone marrow. 14 months ago, she stopped her HIV medication. Here's the science of how it works. To infect someone, HIV relies on two receptors, including one called CCR5. HIV initially docks with something called the CD4 receptor and binds to the CCR5 receptor to invade the cell. A small part of the human population is born with a genetic mutation called CCR5 Delta 32 mutation, and it's that which keeps the HIV virus from infecting a person's cells. That mutation is uh, mostly present in Europeans, I believe in about five per three or four percent of the population, and then about one percent mostly of Northern Europeans. The New York woman is the fourth HIV patient worldwide treated with resistant stem cells. The others, referred to as the Berlin, London, and Dusseldorf patients, were treated with cells from bone marrow. But she is the first with stem cells from umbilical cord blood cells and a bone marrow cell transplant. Umbilical cord blood cells don't require as much of an exact genetic match. Mm -hmm. Nearly 38 million people worldwide live with HIV. Potent drugs can control it, and about 35% of patients are getting treatment. But with this, potentially more people could find a cure. We are physicians and nurses. We, we take care of these patients. So we're very happy that this patient is cured. Uh, we, we are uh, very excited, you know, uh, for her. So far, only a few dozen patients are candidates for this procedure, HIV patients with leukemia or similar high-risk cancers. The data is still new and still small, but researchers tell me they are cautiously optimistic. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, San Francisco. Now, scientists say the number of people who could benefit from this treatment is low, about 50 people a year, and it's risky. One expert says as many as 20% of recipients may not survive the transplant.